Hey guys, welcome back to another tips and tricks video. In this video, we are going to see three different ways to express collar tipping on a polo t-shirt. Let us start with this basic polo that I have here. For the first method, I'm going to use the puckering tool. The puckering tool would really help here because of the curved collar pattern. So I am adding the basic puckering from the object browser. Now I am going to open the normal map for this puckering and bring it to Photoshop so that the dimensions of my tipping is completely precise. You can manually create an artboard with the given dimensions for this as well. Now I am going to create a line using the rectangular tool on a different layer. Let's give this a black color. This is going to be my collar tipping. Now we can export this in a PNG format. Before adding this image as a texture, I am going to click next to the texture parameter to open the file location of the resources for this project and copy the file path of the work file. We will need this to add the normal map of the rib in the next step. Now adding the stripe image file that we made in Photoshop to the texture parameter of the puckering in the property editor. For the normal map, I am adding the rib normal map that has been used in the rest of the column. Here, I am going to paste the file location which we copied earlier to get the normal map. Add the normal map of the rib and we have the collar tipping. The next method is to add the tipping as a graphic. So here we can use the same image or texture file which we created for the puckering. After applying it as a graphic, I will tile it along the x-axis to get a complete stripe. Since the collar pattern is slightly curved, I am deleting the curve point in the middle to straighten the pattern. In the last method, we will see how to add the tipping as a texture. To do so, first I am deleting all the patterns except the collar. Now I am going to export the collar pattern as a PDF and open it on Photoshop. You can see here the pattern is a grey color. So I am going to give a solid fill to this and change the color to match the rest of my garment. For the tipping, I am making a black rectangle. Now I have to curve this to match the shape of the collar. For that, I will add two points in the center of the rectangle on the top and bottom edges and drag these points up to get the curved line. Once my strip is curved to the shape I want, I will export this in a JPEG image format. Now I am going back to Clo and before I do anything else, I will undo to retrieve the deleted patterns. I am assigning the collar to a new fabric and adding the texture we made onto the fabric. Drag and scale the texture to fit the pattern. If the color does not exactly match the garment, we can desaturate the texture to match it. To finish it off, I am just going to add the rib normal map to this pattern. Thank you so much everyone for watching this tutorial. 